Cancer of the cervix is the number one cancer-related cause of death um, in Sub-Saharan Africa, men, women, children considered. And as we were trying to get these women to surgery, we were failing. There are not enough physicians, not enough nurses, not enough equipment, not enough operating rooms. The old traditional way of teaching, we just don't have time for that uh, in, in Sub-Saharan Africa. One of the things that we see um, in developing countries, and I'll sort of look at the continent of Africa, which is where I'm most familiar, it has a disproportionate burden of disease for the world. But surgeons are very, very hard um, to find. They have about 1% of what we have in the United States. And so if we can scale up the number of trained surgeons who can do different procedures, it will really impact the health of the continent. Virtual reality um, for surgery has actually been around for quite a while, but most have been developed for developed countries. Um, and as a result, they're actually quite expensive. What we have done is taken things that are off the shelf, things that you actually could buy at Best Buy, and developed a surgical virtual reality uh, program around it. What the team has developed is a, a, a virtual simulation of a human female pelvis. And we're able to you know, put on the goggles, see that pelvis. We're actually able to be in an operating room and we're able to actually walk through the surgical procedure. We're helping them learn a specific segment of this, the procedure for a radical hysterectomy to treat cervical cancer. So the simulator doesn't replace any of their, their traditional training, but what it does is it helps provide practice opportunities and a safe simulation experience to help speed up their time to mastery. It takes on average four years for uh, a gynecologist to learn how to perform a very complex surgical procedure that's needed to treat cervical cancer. If we can reduce that to six months or a year, it'll make a tremendous difference and we'd be able to multiply the numbers of doctors across Zambia and across other parts of Sub-Saharan Africa.